Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on these tarot cards which came packaged like this, just thought I'd tell you. So this is a uh, couture tarot. Now for those of you wondering what that is, it's basically the pinnacle of fashion which is haute couture and it's kind of crazy actually, I used to work in the fashion industry so <laughs> when this um, just sort of arrived I was like oh my gosh this is like so so me just seeing it. I already saw some examples of these cards online and they looked really interesting, very very unique, I'm very excited to use these in reading. So I was actually sent these very very kindly by Megan and it says here Oak Couture consists of secrets whispered from generation to generation and uh, most of everything in Oak Couture is handmade so of course it's part of fashion and I just thought it would be so interesting to unbox these as well. So, um, yeah, look at this. <laughs> uh, anyways, so that is what we have right there. This is how they came packaged. Um, what I believe, I could be wrong, is that they're sort of, it's like a collage kind of um, deck, so things have been collaged together. It's, it's very interesting, it's for sure very, very um, colourful, I believe. So let's unbox these, all right? And the website where you can get them is right here. So um, do check that out if you're interested in them. I will say I did have to pay a customs fee, even though I did tell, um, I did tell them to declare a lower value for the cards. I believe they declared 60 US dollars, and so, Yes, the customs fee ended up being, you know, quite hefty in that sense. It was around about £20 I had to pay, um, which is quite a lot of money in all honesty for a customs uh, fee. But we got the cards, and that's the thing um, with a lot of the items is oftentimes you've got to pay customs fee. Let me see if I can actually get this. Oh, okay, so it's really lovely. It's wrapped in tissue paper. And let's see. So yes, I was sent these cards very, very kindly. So, but obviously I'm just letting you guys know that if you, for example, live outside of the US and you purchase the cards, you would probably have to pay a customs fee on top of the purchase price of the cards, which would obviously be even like, really quite expensive. Um, so this is what they look like. Do I have a pair of scissors? No. Is that a great idea of me? Also no. Um, but <laughs> this is what they look like. So beautiful. I absolutely, like, can we just talk about the tissue paper quality? Like, I've had other decks that were sent and wrapped up in tissue paper and they were like papery paper and I don't really mind, but this is so smooth and so soft. Oh my gosh. That is nice tissue paper. I will just say that. Okay, so let's put that on the side here. Um, I need to open this. Let's see if I can actually managed to do that. Hmm, let me grab some scissors very quickly if I can find them. Okay, oh, I have, oh yes. yes. All right, so this is what the box looks like. So let's have a look and see what we have. So I'm just going to do that. It's a really nice heavy box. And I will say it's very, very heavy like really heavy, um, and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It looks like the dial of like a very expensive watch um, on there, and it just says Couture. Couture Tarot on the side as well. Ooh, it's a two-piece box, really pretty. So it's got the ribbon, which is nice, and it just allows you to get everything out a little easier. You've got the cards wrapped again in plastic. There's a lot of plastic, I would just say that. Um, wow. Gosh, the book smells really nice. I love smelling um, books. Look at that. I mean, it's glossy. It's really good quality. It's it's like an actual book, um, to be honest, which I think is really nice. It can actually belong on a bookshelf. It's got some amazing illustrations. So it goes through the major arcanas. It goes through all of the cards here as well. It gives you a few words as well for each of the cards. And then it goes into the other cards as well. What I really like as well about this particular deck and the way that they've done their meanings is that they give you a page for every single card. Usually when it comes to the minor arcanas, for example, you know, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, a lot of the um, book guides will just have them all just kind of squished together in a few words, whilst in this 
it's given just as, as much importance as, for example, a major arcana like the tower card, for example. It's given just as much emphasis. So every card has got its own amount of information uh, rather than it just being like, oh, you know, the major arcanas get way more space and get way more information and then the minors don't have as much. I like the fact that they've given every single card so much emphasis. And the other thing I love as well is that it tells you the ruler of every single minor card as well. And again, that is something very, very rare. You'll find that the major arcanas will have the rulers um, written in pretty much every other guidebook, you know, right away, it's like all of those guidebooks, it will have it written down, but never for the minor arcanas. So for example, you know, Justice is ruled by Libra. I'm sure many people know that, but did you know that the Seven of Wands is ruled with Mars and Leo? Did you know that? You know, it's, it's one of those things. So I think it's a really um, beautiful, then, you know, for example, page of wands, uh, the ruler is the season of spring. So I think that this um, this is just really fascinating to me. I think it's really lovely. See, two of cups is Venus in Cancer. We've got the six of cups, which is the sun in Scorpio. Beautiful, beautiful uh, energy here for sure. I really like what we're seeing. Um, we've got some amazing illustrations as well. It's just so beautiful. I'm going to have a look at this more in depth and detail. And then it's got some final notes as well. So this is an amazing guidebook. I'm definitely going to be reading this for sure. Really excited. Okay, so let's look at the cards now. This is amazing quality. Box is amazing quality. You can actually use the box for other things as well because um, it's just a, literally a two-piece box. You can even put like jewellery and stuff inside this as well. The reason I say that, because um, I know a lot of people like, wouldn't you just use them to store your cards? I actually have my own way of storing cards because I read so often uh, on, you know, Oh, it's just gone in there. Um, I read so often that I need to pull cards very, very quickly. I just can't go through boxes and boxes all over again. So I have my own drawer section. If anyone wants to see the full collection of my tarot cards, it's on my channel. You can just go to my channel, type in uh, collection, for example, and it will just come up and you can see how I store them. And that's just the best way for me to do so, so that I can have easy access to all the cards and get really good use out of all of them rather than going through all the boxes and just takes a lot of time so that's why I mentioned like reusing the boxes um, I know a lot of people just sort of store their cards in their boxes and that's just what they do um, it just takes a lot of space if I was to do that my gosh I need a whole room actually for that so I'm trying to open these without actually ruining the cards this is the problem actually when some of the cards are actually individually Plastic wrapped is, uh, there's a risk of actually cutting the cards sometimes or scratching the cards. I would say there's a lot of plastic usage here, um, but it's what it is. Keeps it all in one place, I guess. All right. Ooh, they feel really, really nice. Really nice. Really nice quality. These are, I wouldn't say they're matte, they're like really really, uh, what's the word, but like semi, I would say, um, very, very nice, this I believe is just a tops card, and then we've got all of the cards here as well, so yeah, really great quality, they're not too thin and flimsy, they're not too, you know, chunky chunky, they're really, really pretty, I mean, just look at this, this reminds me of Dior, the little, um, they have necklaces like that, I believe, you got like Gucci, <laughs> it's really really cute actually this just reminds me of the days when I was like researching fashion and like putting stuff together it's really great um, for like fashion students as well to make mood boards and stuff like that it's really it's, it's just very very um, pretty so I'm just going to go through the cards the price of this deck um, I know that most people are probably wondering um, it will be on the website um, I do believe that it's expensive well, actually make sure we have a look uh, we might as well so control tarot I believe that it probably is expensive, but let's see. I really just love the illustrations. Um, so each of the cards in Couture Tarot, it had an explanation and I just clipped off a bit. It was created through college art using images from fashion magazines. So that's the story behind that. Channel the ancient tradition of tarot through Haute Couture collage. Um, so yes. Okay, so the price of this particular deck is, dun, 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 dun. I will get there, I, I will definitely get there, let's see, shop, 
60 US dollars. Okay, so that's what they pretty much um, declared. Uh, so yes, if you pay $60, which uh, I'm not sure what shipping is in all honesty, but if you were to pay $60 plus customs, I mean, not everyone's going to pay a customs fee. Sometimes they do it completely random, but it just is what it is, you know, so um yes it is expensive this is this is not a cheap deck at all you'll find actually with a lot of the sort of um indie indie decks as they call them where people do you know make their own decks and sell them that they are much more expensive because the cost to produce them is way more plus when you look at the quality as well of what you've got here um she's obviously made stickers as well you know for the packaging on the tissue paper she's got you know this postcard which goes in um, and also she's got the the box which is pretty I mean heavy duty you've got the booklet you know and then you've got the cards so you've got you know lots and lots of different components which together at all costs um, especially if it's indie so it's just something to be aware of a page of swords ten of swords nine of swords Wow, that's pretty pretty card. I just picked up a bunch, but um, as I get through them, I like the Two of Swords card. You know, Two of Swords is not the most exciting uh, card in the world to pull for a, a natural reading, but I will say it looks really nice. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. So the creativity of this is really beautiful. I can't imagine how many magazines she must have had to go through to actually collage all of this together and to find the right imagery as well. It sort of matches um, the different elements of tarot as well. Wow, really, really beautiful. Oh, and the home on the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. And also the Pentacles as well. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> King of Wands is a tiger. I like the, the use of orange on the Queen of Wands card because the Queen of Wands comes across as like very fiery, very it's like a very orange kind of card. And I like the use of colour on, on some of these cards. It makes sense with um, the energies. Oh, we've got all of the like trunks as well. It's like baggage, you know, with the Ten of Wands. Pressure, baggage, you know, packing up things. Nine of Wands, Nostalgia, that kind of energy. Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, very fiery, like a lot happening. Five of Wands. Four of Wands. Three of Wands. Two of Wands with all the pillars. Ace of Wands. The World card. Judgment. Sun. <laughs> this is the moon. Star. Tower. Devil. Temperance. Death. Hanged man. Justice. Ah, Wheel of Fortune with the collage Rolex. <laughs> Hermit, Strength, Chariot, Lovers, Hierophant, Emperor, Empress, High Priestess, Magician, 
and the full. Ta-da! That is, that is literally what we have here. So this is my review on this particular deck. I actually think it's really beautiful. I'm going to use this for pick a card readings because I think that they are very special. Um, it is quite a big um, tarot deck to store though. Um, it is huge and I think shuffling wise might be a bit difficult for me. But aside from that, it's a really lovely deck. I am... Um, I'm really thrilled. I'm really excited actually to have more of these like fashion style decks come through nowadays. I do have the fashion oracle and the art oracle and obviously this one is really really unique in that sense because it's also to do with fashion so I'm just really excited about this. Oh yes, very very excited and uh, yes let me know what you think about this deck in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do check out the description box below for all the information on other things as well.